The new Infiniti Q50 rolled off the production line on Tuesday, welcomed by CEO Carlos Ghosn and Japanese factory workers. Ghosn, joined by Infiniti President Johan de Nyssen, took the 328 horsepower, 3.7 liter Q50 for a spin on the Tochigi test track. The V6 engine Q50 will also be available as a hybrid, and the CEO said the premium sedan is a testament to Japanese production quality. This is, I would say, the number one most sold car of Infiniti. This is the bread and butter of the brand. Uh, it's going to go head to head with the C3, uh, 3 Series of BMW, with the C Series of Mercedes, with the A4 of Audi. The Infiniti Q50 is built at Tochigi, the largest of Japan's three main assembly facilities, while the site boasts a six and a half kilometer high speed endurance test course. The seven speed rear wheel drive automatic Q50 debuted at the Detroit Motor Show and recently won Best Chinese Premier at Auto Shanghai 2013. Development tested by Infiniti Red Bull F1 champion driver Sebastian Vettel, the new Infiniti was the first to start production under Johan de Nyssen. Well, Q50 uh, really earmarks the new design direction, the new brand philosophy uh, for Infiniti. Uh, it is a major step forward in terms of technology, engineering, design, and uh, it really, I think, uh, sparks Infinity's uh, big leap upward as uh, we reposition the brand. It also is uh, our volume model. It'll be our single uh, most important model in terms of presenting the brand to the markets. And so uh, certainly uh, a car that uh, has a lot of uh, uh, responsibility on its shoulders. The Q50 will go on sale in the U.S. from summer, while a clean diesel version for Europe is planned for later this year.